welcome to Fresh Snow channel. Today's video is going to be about Embedded Systems Engineer. How is their role and salaries going to be like in India and in many other cities in India? So before we understand about the Embedded Systems Engineer, we would know about Embedded Systems. So this is considered or the definition is going to be a microprocessor which is in alignment with computer hardware with along with side with software as well. So embedded systems uh, or software engineer is going to be aligned with designing, implementation, testing and also processing with other various systems and other operations. We would be now heading over to the definition part so that you can understand it very clearly. Embedded systems engineer is considered or is known to be responsible for designing, development, production, testing. So just now what I have mentioned and also the maintenance of embedded systems. So the prime responsibility is going to be testing systems regularly on a day to day basis to eliminate all the potential issues or the risk which are being taken up or which are being processed with the systems and also to provide actual level of support in order for efficient functioning of the teams which is also in regards to mechanical software or hardware etc so it is all about the smooth functioning or you can say efficient functioning of the embedded systems to eliminate all the risk so in order to do this the embedded systems engineer should be eventually knowing how to design develop uh, know the production and also test it before the implementation into the embedded systems. So this is the basic definition. We will be now looking into the next part which is associated with the development of being an embedded systems engineer that is the skills part. These are the set of skills which the embedded systems engineer should be eventually knowing. So the first one is going to be about the Hardware description language (BHSIC) and system architecture as to how the system is being processed and how it is being uh, implemented or developed, how it is being built, the inbuilt technology, and then it is about MS Office, Microsoft Word, Java, digital signal processing. Also knowing about how the uh, machine is being processed, which is machine learning, how it is being having an inbuilt database and what are the different resources or the sources which is being taken up into action. The system should also undergo the testing stage, testing process so that you would be understanding what are the risks or the issues which are being faced and then it is computer aided design. So these are some of the skills or the skill set which embedded systems engineer should be inculcating through his career. Now there are many roles which are associated for this embedded systems engineer which are also called as a senior or a principal or also called as embedded. So in order to achieve all of this there is one thing in common that this person should be achieving which is having an analytical mind. Having an analytical mindset which eventually help to understand and resolve all of this in a very smooth and efficient manner. So you would also know about the proficient working of uh, the systems and how they are being operated for the further use. You should also make sure that the user, the client are easily and understandably able to understand all the processes and process it along with side. Now, if you are a person who is very passionate enough for technology and also resolving all the issues which are related to technology and systems alongside, then you would be understanding about how does this person do. What are the things or what are the works that are associated to embedded systems engineer, you would then know as to how you can become one. So what are these things that he or she does? You uh, hold on to a specialized role obviously so you would be over under uh, management of all of the systems which are along with it and the next one is which are in alignment with technology basis only so that we know and also information technology related which is also considered on a business perspective and they also create documentation for code and also product features. So what does uh, this mean? Documentation for code in the sense you should be also knowing about the programming and also writing an efficient code. 
in order for a smooth and efficient working of the system. So if you write a particular code and document it properly and also for the other product features, the user or the client will be easily able to understand as to how the particular system or the application is being processed with. So if you have understood the works part, you will be now knowing as to how you can become one. If you are really interested or if you are really into the tech based or if you are interested in everything which is revolving around technology, so you should be having passionate enough for the tech culture and having an expertise in computer hardware and also software that which I mentioned in the introduction part and knowing about the programming languages like C, C++ and having experience in using digital multimeters and other equipments to measure, analyze and also troubleshoot all of the electrical systems. So these are considered to be the tools that an embedded system uh, engineer should be knowing. So these tools will help the person to align, to troubleshoot or to resolve all of the issues which the system is undergoing. So that there would not be any further types of chaos or any sort of misplacement with the system. So these are the basic parameters that a person should follow in order to succeed in your career efficiently. So this is the basic outlook of the embedded systems engineer. Now what are the job roles which are associated with this? Now if you are starting your career into this profession, you can start off by looking into these particular job roles which are associated. Not just uh, looking over in development of a particular system and uh, looking over into the embedded systems uh, issues or all of that. The various other things are to uh, engineer and build other products that will be contributing to the company's products and services and also the ecosystem and this is in regards to the developmental point of view. The next one is to design and develop super fast data center networks. You should know what are the alignment of the networks so that you would understand to develop proper uh, networking uh, alignment and the next one is designing, developing, testing, deploying, maintaining and also improvising the system software so it is an end-to-end -end process that an embedded system should be well aware of so this end-to-end -end system is the basic parameter or the basic component that he or she should be inculcating wireless before starting your career now we are going to see how they are being paid this is taken on an average basis and the source is taken from Payscale itself. If you want, you can check their website as well. So if you're interested, just head over to there and don't stick on to this one amount that I'm going to now mention. This is just on an average basis. And you will also find out how is your career going to be if you start yourself as an embedded systems engineer. So you start off uh, with the pay of 3,55,000 around India. And this is how your graph of uh, professional life going to be as an embedded systems engineer. So there is not going to be an elevation in the beginning itself. Over like one to five years of your beginning of your career, that is going to be a straight conceptual line. So it, you will be eventually knowing as to what are the different experiences that you would be facing, what are the different tools that you will be using and what are the different types of systems that you would be facing. All of that will be coming under like Five, five years or less than five years so according to the skill set that you possess again apart from your academics or apart from your specializations you should be much aware and focused about how you are being exposed practically so that is the main key essential here so accordingly after five years you would be taking a steady leap over your career so that is going to be having a high rise eventually by 10 years itself so by 10 years you would be landing on on a good career basis if you are having the right skill set and the right placement there city of mumbai which is going to be a land or a market of various technical um, in companies or uh, institutes or various other organizations so Mumbai is giving off a very good pay of around 3,45,000 per annum. So this is a good start off. Now don't think that is this entry level or is this uh, going to be on a profession basis. This is just on an average basis. So if you go on having clients of international level basis as well, so then you can head off to a very good pay as well. And the next one is going to be in Hyderabad over the south, which is giving you a very good placement for an embedded systems engineer. 
Hyderabad also is giving you a very good start off which is around 2 lakhs 96 thousand which is good a decent amount of pay per annum and in Bangalore it is 3 lakhs 89 which is equal to Mumbai itself so as these places are a land or the market where national and international companies grow so that is why you are getting an equivalent pay in around these places and in Pune it is 2 lakhs 96 which is equivalent to Hyderabad itself so you won't be having as longest uh, or the widest exposure like uh, Mumbai or Bangalore but it is a good start off where you will be having different experiences levels as well and the next one is in Chennai and again in the south you would be having a near reach or a good spot of uh, development which is landing to 4 lakhs 13 thousand which is not a very high one but over the south yes I could say that this is a very good start off with an embedded systems engineer career and now if you have any other uh, opinions or suggestions you can place them in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching